Make sure you cross the timeline. You have to stay within the passing zone. Okay. Thailand 14. For the information of everybody, what a country is entitled to only one medal. So if Korea finished first, second, medal only for first, second, sorry, no medal. Uh, it's one way to help distribute the medals. Only one medal per country, Kun Vijit. So our teams have a chance. <laughs> All right, so the excitement and pressure is building up. At 10 o'clock, we start the race, but before that, we will introduce the officials and the athletes, the teams. You will be introduced by teams.
And instead, it's sort of uh, overcast tone. It's cooling off a little bit. Yesterday, we had some casualties to the humidity and heat. Today, they're not going four laps, they're only going two laps each. We hope that uh, there will be less incidents of such things. We had some excitement yesterday, some surprises from the teams. Some of the newbies, first timers, did really well. They gave up a lot of shoot, but were outstanding on the swim and the run. And so, made it a very, very interesting day for racing. I will again be joined by, by my co-host, Heather Fell, silver medalist in the Athlon in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. She will be sharing her knowledge and expertise and analyzing some of the technical developments of our race. She's uh, doing some research on the athletes so that she can bring some human interest and some interesting information about the race participants. There have been some changes from yesterday, especially from the Thai side. We will be seeing new Thai athletes today.
going to try to give you as much of the action as possible. Uh, we're trying to work off some hints in the exception of the voice. Please, can we close all of the you, gates? Please there come over. Be, there should be nobody in the area. Please close the gates. India, where is India? So, Rick, I think we are just about ready to start. This is day two of the beach modern pentathlon at the Asian Beach Games. And I will hand over to my co-commentator, Rick, to announce our judges and then please applaud them loudly as they enter the arena. Okay, please welcome our judges. And let's hear a big round of applause as our judges come onto the field of play. Korea, Thailand, please come over. We're just collecting our final athletes. Moon Kim. We are ready to introduce our athletes onto the field. And Rick, if you want to announce each athlete as they come, and let's give them a big round of applause. Number one from Chinese Taipei, Wang and Ho. Chinese Taipei, two, Lin and Liu. India, one, Kumari and Bala. India, two, Naik and Pradesh. Kazakhstan, one. Boyko, Olga, and Sukarev. Kazakhstan 2, Atmanskaya, and Churin. Number 7, Kyrgyzstan, Uvarova, Kripchenko. Mongolia, Erdenebat, and Munk Erdene. China 1, Bian and Li. China 2, Huo and Zhang. Philippines, Mangrobang, Chicano. Korea, Moon, Kim. Korea, two, Kim and June. Thailand, one, Arun Siri and Keson Prawn. Thailand, two, Namala and Ing Kat Non. And Uzbekistan, Janalieva and Galushko. Athletes, you are in the hands of our officials. So, athletes, you have five minutes left of warm up. The five minutes of warm-up will begin now. Final five minutes of warm-up remaining.
as you can see, after the introduction, there is an additional five minutes of shooting warm-up. It's, uh, you have no idea how essential shooting is to this competition, because if it was just about the swimming and the running, you would just get a good athlete without skill. The difference between a spot in the podium and the rest of the field is your ability to spend as little time as you can on the shooting range. The shooting, basically the objective in shooting is to get five hits or, or experience a 50 second expired time. So if you want to if you want to spend as little time as you want as you can in the shooting range, you gotta get your five hits. Did I explain that correctly, Heather? Just about, I think, Rick. The, the aim of the game is to get off the shooting range as soon as you can. The world record for the shooting, getting five green lights, is actually seven seconds in the sport of modern pentathlon. Now, yesterday we saw a few athletes probably getting around 20 seconds. Now, if you continually miss, after 50 seconds, it's the timeout and then you're allowed to run onto the next phase, onto the swimming. But however, if you've waited 50 seconds, you've probably lost about 30 seconds of time. If you think you do that every time, you end up two minutes down on the lead. So it is very costly. Two minutes and eternity in this race. That's, a, that's almost forever. One athlete, a Korean athlete running off, practicing his run, shoot transition yeah you have to factor that in the fatigue the heart rate the heart beating very very strongly you got to have an ability to collect yourself calm yourself after such an excursion so just the final few minutes athletes if you start to finish up the warm-up we'll soon be ready to start okay We had the uh, Korean boy Kim finishing off five hits as he nonchalantly leaves the shooting range. Some confidence there. Now, Rick, I know you've already explained, but just to finalize and tell people once more, we have double the amount of athletes on the range this morning. Still 16 teams, but actually there is one boy and one girl in every team. Now, the girls will start and they will do two laps. So that will be two shoots, two swims, two runs, and then they pass over to their male teammate, and it'll be the men who cross the line and finish the event. Some of the countries you can see, there's more than two athletes. From China and Korea, we have four athletes, two teams. However, only one team will count. So the top scoring team will count and the team who comes second from a country such as Korea and China, those results will be discounted. So it's very much an open competition, especially for the bronze medal position. Okay, some of the athletes making their way to the starting line. I guess they feel they've had sufficient warm up. teams to look out for, the Chinese teams and the Koreans, but uh, it's kind of wide open for the third. Okay, all athletes, please leave the shooting range. We are gathering everybody at the start now. And we are almost ready for the start of the mixed team relay in the beach modern pentathlon. Here at the Asian Beach Games 2014 in Phuket Island, Thailand. So the boys were wet in the shade for two laps whilst they watched their teammates battle it out on the field. It will be the women first. And I think we are ready to hand over to Mr. Starter.
right, the starting And horns. that signif signifies the beginning of the mixed team relay here at the Beach Modern Pentathlon. All athletes on the shooting range, and it looks like a good start here for Thailand. Three shots off on the target already. This is very good start, and four, and look at that. Oh, it's Korea and Thailand out of the shooting range. What fast shooting, that was very impressive. China chasing hot on the heels. And also I think that's Kyrgyzstan. Four athletes off and already into transition, Rick. Korea, Thailand, China in transition. And we see, is that Uvarova? We have more athletes just leaving the range now. There's been a big improvement from yesterday's shooting. I think several people have learned. And more athletes coming to join the transition area. Just a few left struggling for the last few shots. But that's 50 seconds up. That's everybody off the shooting range. All right. So we have a group of six in the trail pack. And our leader, China and Thailand are rounding the buoy. They're headed back. They're headed back. Okay, our last our last runners in the water. Our, so everybody's in the water, Heather. And it's fast and furious. Uh, you can hear, you see a lot of splash. It's hard strokes. None of this long extended uh, swimming. It's fast and furious. So for those of you who cannot see the swim, it's a 50 meter loop, 25 meters out, 25 meters back. And then the athletes out of the sea run up the beach into transition area where they will put their trainers on and prepare for the 800 meter run. And they have to do this whole lap twice before handing over to their teammates. Korea. First out of the water, followed by Thailand. Thailand's in second place. Furious instructions from their coach, telling her not to dawdle in transition. She has her shoes on. All right, 10 meter lead by Kim of Korea over Surantai of Thailand. In third, about 20 meters behind, China one. Followed by Uvarova, Kazakhstan one, nine, no, no, it was China two ahead, China one behind, Moon of Korea, Moon is in Korea one, all right, they're above, there's still five athletes in the water, Zania, Kazakhstan off, hey, Mangrobang, Mangrobang has left the trail pack, and has overtaken Chen Chuan of Thailand at the beginning of the run. But we sort of expected that. She, uh, she, she was, she was very, barely looking concerned in the shooting, but now she's off like a banshee. As they say, like a bat out of hell. All right, Chinese Taipei. Okay, so we've got Chinese most Taipei of our trailing. athletes. Over to you, Heather. Most of our athletes out on the running course now. And it will be a fight, I think, between China and Korea, like we saw yesterday. However, China have entered two very strong teams, whereas Korea have entered one extremely strong team and one slightly weaker team. So it'll be interesting to see if these countries have decided who their stronger team is, or if they just put two teams and they're gonna let them battle it out on the field. So don't forget today, there's no point in athletes working together if you see two girls from the same country, they're actually competing against each other. Only one team can count today. So it will be the highest scoring team, but we have a leader at this early stage coming up to the shooting range. It is Korea, and I'll just find out which team it is. It is the team number 13, Korea's second team. So Kim coming into the shooting range and already open up quite a lead. It is China now in second place it is china's second team Huo, who we saw take the title very convincingly yesterday but currently being led out by kim and here we go thailand kyrgyzstan china you hear the crowd cheer as thailand come into the range equal third and can she shoot as well as she did in that first shooting round it was great shooting from aaron siri from thailand can she hold the nerve can she keep 
keep it cool. But look at that, China and Kim. So China taking the lead now. Korea in second. And it's going to be a fight between those two nations. But the fight on the range is for bronze at this stage. Okay, Thailand. so it's war of China beginning her swim and team number 13, Korea 2, Kim Sefri, Uvarova in and third, hear, entering transition, you followed hear that, by you hear that China cheer, Rick. and Kazakhstan. You hear that cheer, that was Thailand leaving the range, but unfortunately, Simantari did have a very poor shoot then, and unfortunately, she's dropped well down the placings and has a lot of work to do to catch up. And we have Thailand's second team on the range now. And the Philippines as well. It's still all for the fight. We have four laps. But here come the rest of our athletes. Team India, both of India's teams, Mongolia and Chinese Taipei just coming into the range now. Looking exhausted already. All right, huge gap. Oh, but here comes Mang Robang. Mang Robang, I, Kim. Uh, Kim Mangrobang, not exactly the most experienced shooter. How'd she do in the range, Heather? Um, not too well, as you can probably tell. She's not as far up as she should be. Although some of the athletes struggling a little bit more on this second round. It's much harder, the shooting, once you've already ran and swam. And obviously, when they came into the range the first time, they were fresh straight from the start, only 10 meters or so in front of the range. So you really do see a difference in the second shoot compared to the first. All right, China out of the water, entering transition. A little slow on the step. Uh, they've taken a little off, uh, Heather. They're not so fresh. Kim is actually sitting. <laughs> I'm not surprised that they're not fresh. I mean, all of these athletes, bar a very small few, competed yesterday and obviously yesterday they did four laps of this course so today is a sprint in comparison and we see our lead two women on their final part of the competition the final 800 meters run and they will be handing over to their teammates giving them as much lead as possible all right it's china uh, korea china china and then the kazakhs thailand two uh, sorry thailand one is still in the thick of it. I All mean, right, a, a little bit of a gap.